Good evening, and welcome to the Panther Show. I am Kyara, and today with me, I have my friend, Renaya. Renaya, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. My name is Renaya. I'm in sixth grade, and my school name is Barbara A. Sizemore Academy. So we go to Barbara A. Sizemore Academy at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. Or go to www.bsics.org. Or call 773-651-1661. So, Renaya, what kind of hairstyles do you like most? Well, actually, I like the style that you have. Unless I like um, the little one on top. Oh, okay, I feel you. So, I really like ponytails because, I mean, I'm an athlete and I'm athletic. So, I mean, I like, I have, I'm really used to keeping my hair up and, like, tying it up and putting it in a ponytail and stuff. So, I mean, so, why is it important for young ladies to keep their hair looking nice? To me, I think that young ladies should keep their hair up because you don't want to go outside looking a mess like your mama don't care about you. Okay, so, look. I honestly do not care about how I look. I mean, like, I did last week because I had my hair out in an afro, and it was, like, natural. And I was just like, I don't want to go to school like this. And then when I realized my hair is perfect just the way it is, I want to wear it out. I want to be natural. I want to be try a new style. And lots of girls like to talk about me. And sometimes I'm like, I don't care. I, don't care. I like my hair. <laughs> you probably don't like yours if you want to talk about mine. So, I mean, like, you a hater or something like that, so. Um, do you go to the beauty salon to get your hair done, or do you get it done by a caretaker? Um, it's sort of like that because my mom, she have, she have her own salon. Oh, So, you okay. know. Yeah, I feel you. So, do, like, so, like, do you wear, do you like to wear makeup at all? No, only when I'm playing with my little cousins, like, to make up their little face, you know. Make them look cute. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I mean, I love, I love makeup. I'm just not allowed to wear it. <laughs> I can't wear lip gloss. I can't wear lipstick. I can't even wear eyeshadow. You can wear lip gloss, right? I mean, no, I can't really wear lip gloss. <laughs> so, and like, sometimes, I mean, like, one time I wore lip gloss, and then I was just like, and then I just, I just knew I couldn't wear it anymore, so I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, like, I do do my cousin's, like, makeup, like, if we're playing and stuff. Yeah. And, like, sometimes, one time I drew, like, a heart around my sister. And, like, <laughs> it was so cute. It was so cute. It was so cute. But then she had to wipe it off because, I mean, I didn't want her to break out. <laughs> so, like. Was it lipstick? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, looks like we have a caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, I have a question about um, just getting your opinions about natural hair. Why do you think it's so against, people are so against um, wearing their natural hair out in either school or outside? I think people, like, think it's not cool because, like, sometimes people's hair are too short and, like, they are too ashamed of it. But, like, you should really just choose your heart and, like, know that you like you you and like sometimes people just be like oh i don't like my hair it's too short i don't like it i don't like it but you just need to stop saying that i mean you were born with that hair a lot of people aren't born with long hair or short hair some people don't born with no hair at all and you should be grateful that you were blessed with hair yeah that's true <laughs> so renee do you have any friends who do hair like how do you, yeah do you have any friends who do hair yeah, but she's not like a professional, you know? Yeah, she just right. like do hair like her little cousins, sisters. Oh, okay. That's that's the type of girl she is. <laughs> okay, okay. How did you learn to do hair? So, one day my mom, she had a client over, and I was just paying attention to how she was doing it. Yeah. And then I asked my mom, can I like do something to her hair? And I actually did something. So, like, yeah, I learned to do hair because I have this 28-inch doll, and I do her hair all the time. When I get bored, I'm doing it. <laughs> when I'm not bored, I'm doing it. When I don't want to wash dishes, I'm doing it. <laughs> um, <That's> and, so <laughs> and, like, oh, looks like we have another caller. Caller. Am I in? Hello? Hello. Yes, uh, I had a question. I see young ladies talking about hair. Yeah. 
So I have a young daughter, and uh, I'm interested in getting her. Well, I want her to learn how to braid hair. Would you recommend her, like me, getting her a doll, or or how can I yes. go about yeah. getting you her to get learn her. how to do hair? Yeah, you should get her plenty of dolls. If she want to, like, do hair, I mean, like, she might want to have one hairstyle and then, like, want to do another hairstyle. And, like, she just got done doing that hairstyle. So, like, it's when she, very yeah, very and, like, when she get done doing a hairstyle, she's like, oh, I want to do another hairstyle. I got this idea. I got this idea. So, she want, she can go to the next doll because, I mean, it would be a waste of her time if she just did one doll down. hair. Yeah, like, taking the hair down over What's and over. What's the point? So, do you do your siblings hair? Yes. But not all the time because, you know, <laughs> what's the word for it? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I did my sister's hair once or twice. I put these really cute pigtails in her hair. It was so pretty. Yeah. Looks like we have Caller. Caller, are you there? Um, yes, I have a question. I understand that you all go to an African center school. Yes, And I'm we wondering do. what kind of things you all do there, um, what, what they do with you all there to make you feel proud of your culture. Oh, what we do there is dance. And dance is made with me. <laughs> it's a born, it's, it's a born, it's a born offspring. <laughs> I mean, I love the fact that I'm me and the way I was born and like, they teach us to be better. They they teach us to do better. They teach us to think better. Because some of us say, I can't do it. I can't do this. They teach us to make a growth mindset. Some of us don't have one. And when we go, when we enter the school of Basa, we just breathe in that fresh air. And then we're just like, I can do this. <laughs> I'm ready for this day. <laughs> so, Renaya, what's the hottest artist out right now and why? Well, to me, my hottest artist is Chris Brown. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because he he can dance, and I mean, I'm I really enjoy dance, and my mother has taught me to do better in dancing, and Chris Brown just showed me like I could do better moves, and like when I see him doing dances, I see that he got more new stuff. Like usually, I just do the same dances over and over again. I'm just like, I am tired of this dance, and then <laughs> like, and then when I see Chris Brown dance, I'm just like, oh, I could take a, I could just steal a little. Um, dances stuff. from him. Yeah, it's not, it's not stealing, it's borrowing, it, if you don't know about <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, so, it's just, <clears throat> so, so silly. Who is your hottest love artist? Well, it's a little some some Armani Trey. Oh. Okay. They are dancers and singers. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm a, you know, I'll dance a little, but no singing, no singing. Mm. Don't want to so, hear me. My favorite song that Chris Brown has had was My Royalty. That, that song is lit. So, anyway, so what's this about our digital media arts class? Caller. Oh, look, looks like we have another caller. Caller, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you guys? Good. Hey. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm good. Okay, so you guys are talking about the hottest artist mm -hmm. out on today. So I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys watched the award ceremony on the other night. Well, Bruno Mars took away everything the other night. I think he's the hottest artist right now. Yeah, okay. A lot of people have, like, different opinions about who's good or who's not. In my opinion, I think it's Chris Brown. In her opinion, she thinks it's Mar Armand and Trey. But yeah. in your opinion, you think it's Bru Bruno Mars. Everybody has a different opinion. I mean, like, I have quite a lot. I got <laughs> Beyonce. I got Chris Brown. I got Armand and Trey. I got the Taylor Girls. I got. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I got Logan Paul. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of people in the world. That it is good. That is great. So sure. we want to show y'all another little something, something about our school. This is a video that we want to show you. This is a story about a young girl named Stacy. Stacy and her family had moved to a new city recently. And Stacy enrolled into a new school. When she got to the new school, Stacy tried to make new friends. But it was very hard for her. Stacy was a little different from the other girls. She wore her hair different. And she dressed with a different style than the other girls. Because of that, she began to get bullied by some of the other girls. After a while, Stacy just wanted to go back to her old school, where she had friends. 
Everybody just came to school. She got picked on and made fun of by some very mean girls. She tried telling her mother, but her mother didn't take Stacy very seriously. She told her to just ignore the girls. Stacy began to feel disappointed, depressed, and alone. She thought long and hard about how she could end this torture. Some of her thoughts weren't good at all. Just when Stacy was ready to give up on everything, a girl from another class named Imani came to her and said, Hi, what's your name? Stacy. My name is Imani. I've seen how the other girls have been treating you lately. Yeah, there are some mean girls at this school. You're right. I was new to the school last year and they did the same thing to me. Really? Yeah. Hey, you want to come have lunch with me? I promise I'm not like those other girls. Okay, thanks. After that day, Imani and Stacy went on to become best friends. If you're being bullied, tell someone. If you see someone getting bullied, don't just watch it, do something. 77% of students have been bullied in their life. Each day, 160,000 students miss school in fear of being bullied. 4,400 young people kill themselves each year because of bullying. One in five students admitted to being a bully. If you're that one, stop! It may save someone's life. Hello, I'm Bryson Royale, a student at Betty Shabazz, and today with me I have Kyara, an, another student at Betty Shabazz. If you want more information about the school, you, Barbary Sizemore Academy, 6547 South Stewart Avenue, or Chicago IL60621, or you can visit our website, www.bisics.org, or you can call us at 773-651-1616. Today I want to ask Kyra about education. My first question is, do you think that education is important or why? I think education is important. I mean, I'm here because of my education. I'm living because of my education. So, like, a lot of people don't really care about their education. And they fail because they don't care about their education. And a lot of people get bad grades because they don't care. I mean, you know when you get home, it's going to be a whole nother story. So I would, if I were you, I would choose to care about my education because I want to go somewhere in life. I want to be something in life. What do you think about the people who are successful with, that dropped out of college or stuff like that, like Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates? What do you think about those people that dropped out but they're still successful, they didn't get their education? I don't really think it's fair. In my opinion, I don't think it's fair because a lot of people work really hard to get where they are. And some people just drop out and be successful. I don't even think that's, in my opinion, in, in Kyra's world, I don't think that it's legal. I don't really think it's possible. When you say it's not fair, what, what do you mean? Like, I think that's pretty cool. Like, you found something that's in your own knowledge like everybody doesn't just like education like some like some stuff in education are done for them like you like dancing right yeah like you don't you don't learn that in education like you might want to drop out of school and go to a dance class or whatever like what what about that I mean, like, I can wait. I can wait for that. I don't have to drop out right away just to go to dance. I can easily have dance after school. I'm not about to drop out just because something that I want to do. I mean, I really want to learn. I want to be, I can be better than how I am at dancing right now if I don't drop out. Mm. Oh, looks like we have a caller. Caller, are you there? Excuse me, Sly. What's what subject do you like? Uh, my favorite subject is science. I'm not really much of a reading person. Yeah, science, and that's an edu and that's an education purpose because in science you learn more stuff, uh, but you have but you have to get your education for science. Right, you have to get like degrees if you want to be a yeah. scientist. Yeah. What do you think of? Do you think there that people that get rich and that are brilliant without their ed education? Do you think are they're lucky or do they think they worked hard? I honestly think it's in the middle because a lot of, I mean, they worked hard where they are now. I mean, they successful. They probably worked for that success. But it's just that I think they got lucky that time. I think it's they a work, coincidence. I think they worked hard for that. Because, like, you don't just drop out of school and magically, 
actually like oh my god I'm rich I made I made a big website that millions of people get on every day I think you got really lucky off of that no no I think yeah, you really lucky, worked really hard off of that I don't really think they worked hard though okay you do you, do you, so do you think when they made a lot of money so you're saying they got lucky yeah they got lucky so you're saying they did not work hard for that no so what about the huh What's so? So do you think they work hard? <laughs> if you if you want to contact us, it's by Ray Size Mark Academy. You can call us at seven seven three six five what what six one on our website www.basics.org. Um, do you think that it's a good that you, that is that you get a is it important to have a good quality of education? Yeah, I think so because if you don't, then you just getting you just um getting taught a bunch of stuff that people just found on the ground, basically. Mm. Like, but, cause like if if Barbara A. Sizemore were to teach us differently, we wouldn't have much students. But they don't teach. They teach us more than we have ever known. I mean, honestly, I didn't know really much about how us. As black people, I didn't really know our history until I came here. Other schools did not teach me anything. They taught me stuff that they read off the internet or they found on the ground. What type of stuff do they teach you? Like, you talking about my school? Yeah. Okay, they teach me about my heritage. They teach me where I came from. They teach me about my history. They teach me about being me is, is beautiful. And, and they teaching me that I'm beautiful inside and out, no matter what anybody says. So, what what's some things that you learned other than that? I learned to be creative. I learned to be respectful, which I already was. I learned to be nice to people, which I already was. And I learned I learned everything that I need to learn. I mean, we have more than that anything. We have dance. We have uh we have digital media art. We got music. We got gym. In other schools, we don't have that stuff. Basa is a lucky school, a successful school. It, we have two campuses. And they have the same things. It's, it's just that we, as us, we are very lucky to be going to a school like that. Oh, it looks like we have a caller. Caller, are you there? Hello. I was wondering what type of um, subject are you all talking about right now? Uh, right now, we're talking about, well, we're not talking about subject. We're talking about our, the school that we, that we attend and yeah, how yeah. it teaches about our heritage. Yeah. Like she's saying, it teaches her about um, how... It teaches her how to dance, how to be, be creative, creative, and stuff like that. Teaches me. We didn't even have science when I at my other school. Now we have. Ev I have everything that I imagined in that school. Mm -hmm. And even though that I'm not used to vegetarian food, our lunch, our lunch lady makes it makes it bang. Mm. Um. So back when you saying that the people. Who got lucky off their education? Do you think that if they did get go to um, school, like Mark Zuckerberg who made Facebook, do you think that if he did go to school, they do you think that he would make the website that make millions of people? Yes, he would. And I mean, he 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 is very intelligent for making Facebook. Caller, well, caller, caller. looks like we have a caller. Caller, are you there? I am here. You guys are awesome. What did you say? I just want to make. I, I wanted you to know that you were awesome for being as intelligent as you are and having the courage to get on television. Thank, thank you. you. Know, you thank you very much. You're about the sciences, which is quite refreshing. Um, we don't have enough people in science to begin with, especially not enough women, young lady, in science. We also don't have enough young people of color in the engineering and sciences. But do you understand that's, that's the heritage of African Americans? Because people like Garrett Morgan, inventor of the traffic light, George Washington Carver, well, we all know about him. Even our last president is a scientist of sorts. So you're right on point. Stay in sciences. Science is, is the best thing in the world. Everything behind you, the television that you're on, the lights that are above you, the microphones that you live, that you speaking through, that's all science. Yeah. And it
every caller that we have is always so yeah, nice. Yeah, so nice. Um, right now I'm going to go to the video. Before I do, I want to thank um, Renaya that was here with you. Yep. I want to thank her, and I want to thank you for, for when you interviewed her. I want to go to a video. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we have a new host and new guest, and I am Baba Eric, or some of y'all know me as Eric. Um, I have a special guest with me today, uh, my brother Martel, and he's a my bad. Uh, he's a student over at Barbara A. Sizemore Academy, where I teach at. So uh, introduce yourself, brother. Yeah, I'm Martel. Um, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, Brother Martel wants to, we're going to talk a little bit, we're going to extend that uh, that conversation about education. Um, so, tell us, did you just recently take some tests over there at uh, BASA? Um, actually, What's yes, we did. We, um, we took, I think it was called... Um, we NWEA took our NWEA or something? Yeah, NWEA. Okay. So what, I mean, what, what type of uh, subjects does that cover in, um, during the test? Like math and reading. We have scores based off how well you um, tally your points. I mean, a lot of the students and teachers around the school, this is my first year teaching there, but a lot of the teachers and students tell me that this brother Martel is like one of the smartest brothers up at the school. So I wanted to ask you, man, how, did, how well did you do on your test? I did um good. Did pretty um, good. Yeah. I mean, what's your strongest subject up there? Like, what? Not necessarily what you like the most, but what's uh one of your strongest subjects that you do the most? I mean, the best in. Um, math, math, math. definitely. Yeah. Is that something you want to pursue? Like the career that you want to go into? Does it does it uh, involve math? Um, I know you're good at sports and stuff, but yeah, what, what um, like careers? numbers. You like numbers, yeah. crunching them numbers. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, have you thought about what high school you want to go to? Um, I'm thinking about Jones, Whitney Young, Selective Room. And so there, yeah, select. I was go. That's what I was gonna get to. Uh, but let, let's take a uh, call it real quick. Call you there? Yes, I want to know. What's the important thing about Bossa? You said uh, what? Did she say the most what? The did she say the best thing about Bossa? I could I couldn't really hear. Um, but well, I, I from my point of view, I mean the best thing I I the the thing I like the most about BASA, which stands for Barbara A. Sizemore Academy, which is part of the Betty Shabazz International Charter Schools. Um, the best thing I like is the culture that we ha learn there. We learn a lot about uh, African our African heritage, about the culture. A lot of uh, the students, well, a lot of schools now they don't really give you that. Um, with their education so teaching african-american youth i mean i think it's good that they learn a lot about their culture what you think about that yeah um like the last schools i used to go to they didn't um care for this type of stuff but it's good to know that i can um learn from like where i'm from going to this this school now that's good. Um, I know we was just talking about high school. Um, did you say you want to go to a selective enrollment? Yes, yeah, selective enrollment. I mean, you think you're going to get in? Yeah. I'm get them sure test scores it, yeah. up? So, um, just real quick, um, I, I know a lot of students, they really have trouble studying. I wanted to ask you, man, how much 
in order to get your test scores up good, because yours are obviously good, I mean, how much time do you really spend, uh, like, studying at home and at school? Um, I, I spend all the time, all the time I can get, um, like, sometimes. Any free time? Yeah. Right. It's a lot going on, but still. Well, that's good. That's good. Right, we got one. I'm gonna take one more caller before we get out of here. Um, caller, are you there? Oh, uh, well, I think it's time to wrap up. Um, I wish I had a little bit more time to talk to this brother Martel, but he is uh, one of our regular guests here on the show. I want to thank uh, Kyra. I want to thank Bryson and Renaya for uh, being uh, some very good and entertaining hosts this week. I just want to remind you that we're here. Uh, well, one more. I just want to tell you one more time that um, we are the Barbara A. Sizemore Academy, and we're located at 6547 South Stewart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. You can reach us on the web at www.bsics.org. Or you could call us at 773-651-1661. And we are enrolling right now, so if you're interested in getting your child a good uh, cultural education, I would recommend you uh, send them over our way because we'd love to have you. Um, but I want to thank again this brother Martel uh, for being here. And again, tune in next week, same time, 6 p.m., The Panther Show. Thank you. <laughs>